Marco, I like your outfit today. <gasps> Rudolph! Oh, and there's Rudolph on the front. Can I see? Hi everybody, we begin today's vlog with a little bit of um, plant TLC. So, um, you've seen these, I've mentioned them, I'm obsessed with them. Sarah, I just said to Sarah, I need to start the video. And part of the giveaway today, the plants, so that's why I'm at this area. Sarah's eyes rolled to the back of her How head. How do I zoom? How do you zoom on the top? What are you zooming into? The real deal. What real deal? The chalky. Oh, an <laughs> advent calendar. Um, I've got this app, right? Um, which, so they look good. No, they look really help. I'm really chuffed. Like they bring me loads of joy. Um, I love them being in the house. I've got most of them here. There's a bunch in my office. There's a few in there. There's a few outside which don't appreciate the snow, but like I really like taking care of them. To take better care of them, I bought an app the other day. I did actually spend money on it. It's, the app is called Planter. Basically, you put in all the details, what the plant is, how big it is, what pot it's in, what soil it's in, etc, etc. And it will give you, like, um, a care schedule. So every day, my phone will beep with a, with a notification telling me what I've got to do. Um, today, I've got nine activities to do, but, the, you know, I'm only misting today, so it's super easy. I've got to miss this Chinese money plant here. Because I'm doing my plants, I'm going to start with today's giveaway. Patch Plants, which is my favourite website at the moment. So much so that I've had about six deliveries in the last six weeks <laughs> and I got in trouble with my last delivery because I've spent a lot of money on the website and you know I've kind of most of these are from Patch Plants. They are offering £75 voucher so you can buy the plant of your dreams from the website. You know how to enter by now hopefully. Go over to our Instagram and you have to comment underneath. I think it's my Instagram today isn't it Sarah? On my Instagram there'll be like a mini reel of today's video comment under that, that's how you enter. Again, terms and conditions are in this video and also over on Instagram. This one in the middle is my mistletoe cactus. And for some reason, one side of it is just growing really, really well. And you can actually see loads of new growth, Look, for example, right here. Um, and here, actually, lots of new growth coming on. That's really good. This guy, the Monstera, um, it's getting really, really big. I have to keep, I've, I've wedged on like a funnel here because I'm trying to keep these moss poles uh, really moist so that all these air roots, which you can kind of just see here, that's an air root, I want them to tether on because I've tied a load of string round to try and keep it standing up. As soon as I take the string off, the whole plant just goes prompt because it's now too heavy. I'm not ready to repot it yet because it's the wrong time of year. Plus, I like the pot it's in, <laughs> so I'm trying to keep, I keep filling up that funnel to make sure this thing is really moist to encourage the air roots to sort of like grip onto it and use it as support, but it loves a good misting. In fact, the name I've called this one is Misty because um, she just likes being misted a lot. It's been a few hours since I saw you last watering my plants. margot has been asleep for like three hours. When she goes down for a nap, often you just rush to get as much energy as you can because you know that she's going to wake up. Typically, She'll only be down for an hour, maybe two. She's a bit under the weather, bless her heart. She literally bounced back from a cold, I don't know, like a week or so ago. Um, and has now got this um, other, we took her to the, to the doctor this morning, she's got this other viral thing, poor little pickle. So she's got antibiotics now because there's, there's this thing called strep A going around the country at the moment, which is potentially really dangerous. It's not dangerous for lots of kids, but it can be. Um, and the doctor looked at her throat and was like, you know what, I don't like what I'm seeing. Just in case it is, let's get some antibiotics. So, what would be good on this? What would be good on what? You know when you go to um, like McDonald's in KFC, right. they have um, like a twister, a bit of sweet chilli. I just think sriracha. So Sarah's making wraps. Sriracha rather than sweet chilli. I would always pick sriracha. You know sriracha is like my, my, um, well, source of choice. Really nice. Doctor's given her some antibiotics and she's been asleep for three hours. And I think that's a really good thing. Typically, had she not been ill. She didn't sleep at all last night. No, she didn't. She was up all night. She didn't really yeah. sleep the day before. She didn't no. nap. So she needs to catch up. Had she been well and been asleep this long, we probably would have woken her up by now. But um, I'm going to let her sleep for as long as possible. Go on. And also, look, she's only eating, like, she's not eating anything. Yeah, only poor throat sore. So we're giving her, like, smoothie back on all things. The, back on all the purees. Poor little thing. I've got some soup. Yeah. There you go, darling. That looks good, thank you. Sarah knows me so well. You probably know this about me too. I forget to eat when I get busy. <laughs> Sometimes I, I then come downstairs and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. So Sarah has learned now that, um, bless her heart, without, even, without me even mentioning it, she'll often just put me something together. 
It's very nice. I'm very loved. She's awake. Poor little mate. I'm not going to put her on camera because it's the last thing she wants right now. Isn't it, my darling? Huh? She's just a bit like... She's fine. Like She's, ha she's just a bit... Not really totally with us, you know, just wants cuddles and attention. We just gave her some of the um, antibiotics and it took me right back because it's, it's often it's the antibiotics that they often prescribe to kids, but it's got that sort of. Is it banana flavour, Sarah? Do you remember? Uh, I don't really remember. There is like a, a, a UK shortage of um, <clears throat> antibiotics at the moment, partly because the Postal Service is on strike, so there's no deliveries, but also because there is an outbreak of this strep A, and I think a lot of doctors are just being overcautious, which they totally should be, I think, anyway. Um, so they're prescribing lots of antibiotics, because chances are that isn't what Margot has, but I would much rather she takes the antibiotics and it not be that than her not have it and, sorry, not have the antibiotics, and it be that, and it, and it could really escalate quite quickly. Uh, and as you might remember, if you've been watching my content for a while, she was in hospital with a thing called bronchiolitis um, for a week, what, six weeks ago, Sarah? Uh, I think so, Worst yeah. week of mine and Sarah's life, without a shadow of a doubt. So we are kind of hyper-vigilant now. You are going to go out in the snow today. Yeah. <laughs> I mentioned it at the end of my, my video yesterday. I said, oh, is it snowing wherever you are? Okay. Right. Woke up, sorry, you hear me but not see me because I've got... Well, I don't want to film her, no, yeah. No, I know, that's what I'm saying, I've got poorly baby in my ass. Um, but I finished the video saying, is it snowing where you are? It's her first snow. Up. Yeah, and we did wake up to a blanket of yeah. snow, but we kind of... I don't didn't want to take really pay it any mind. Right. I just was like on the phone to the GP to get to the doctors. Yeah. I didn't even think, like, that was the first time I've I've been, seen we've been We've been so excited. No, hang on, we went, we went away to... Um, to uh, Mammoth Lakes when she was in the snow. Oh, of course, she saw the snow there. But she's but never seen snow in December really and you get, yeah, she, she was. Really yeah, we really wanted to put her in a little snowsuit and take her out, but today's not the day. I think today's the day for keeping her warm. We've just had a genius idea. Uh, we're gonna make Margot some banana ice cream. Um, I think I mentioned already, she's not been eating solids very well the last few days because her throat's really, really sore. And usually you can't keep her away from food, um, but she had no appetite. However, we'll, we'll drink milk will take like a smoothie or a yogurt and I just called my mum to let her know that Margot was feeling unwell because I hadn't told her yet uh, and she went, I'll oh, give her some ice cream. Apparently I used to suffer with sore throats a lot when I was a kid, I don't really remember that and mum said she used to give ice cream. So we're making banana ice cream, which is what, banana and milk? Um, was it all up stick in the freezer? So you freeze the banana to like right. little coins and uh, I've done this then, before. Yeah, it frees them into like little coins and then when it comes after about an hour once they're frozen, put them in a blender. Yeah. I might put, um, <laughs> oh, a little pickle. I might put a bit of peanut butter in just for the calories for her. Mm, yeah. And a bit of milk to whiz it up. Yeah, yummy. Okay. Okay. I imagine your mum probably gave you Hagen Dars. <laughs> Couldn't afford Hagen Dars, Sarah. <laughs> but I, my point was, I imagine your mum was thinking more. Well, she wasn't like, making it herself, no. I imagine when your mum suggested it to her, she was like thinking, like, give her a bit of cookies and cream. Not yeah, she was, she, my mum wasn't making it, that's for sure. It is quite nice having cuddles, though, isn't it? She's not the cuddliest baby in the world. She kind of likes her independence, but when she's poorly. All she wants is to be close. In fact, <laughs> in bed last night uh, with me, didn't get like a wink of sleep because she kept getting closer and closer and closer. And in the end, she's tiny. It's king size bed. In the end, I was hanging off the end of it. <laughs> we just got a delivery and the box was big enough for Margaret to fit. So of course she wanted to get in. And now she's just having a little, little tour of the house. <laughs> What do you think, Pickle? Fun? Beep, beep. <laughs> Hilarious. I put her in, because she was showing us a curiosity. And I was like, is she going to like it or not? And I thought she might try to climb out. Um, and I took her out, and then she was like, nah, Dad. <laughs> Climb back in again, desperate to be in there. She's funny though, when she enjoys something, you'd never know it, because she doesn't yeah, like... she's doing her thing where when she likes something, she doesn't show it on her face. Yeah. She, her face is... Dead yeah, like, oh, doorbell, okay. Oh, Margo, look at your ice cream. No, just literally banana, milk and peanut. Shut up. Yeah, but I put barely any milk in. Just banana and a tiny bit of peanut butter. Go on. Excuse the green on, on my fingers. It's very peanutty. <laughs> what is the green on your fingers? Because people will be curious. Yesterday's vlog during the Christmas cake, the, um, Green food colouring. Mm -hmm. This ice cream is going down very well. We tried it with some soup first. Not interested at all. Um, the poor little, poor little pickle who loves her food usually was literally 
grabbing the spoon or the bowl, whatever came near, and just pushing it away. Um, I got the ice cream out. And again, she, I think she was suspicious of it. So I actually kind of like had to convince her to have that first mouthful and now she can't get enough, which is good because it's banana and peanut. It's quite a lot of calories in it. We're just concerned that she's not getting enough in because her poor throat's sore. She's just not eating a great deal. But this you are, it's going right down the hatch. Now my concern is you eating too much too quickly. You might get brain freeze. We don't want brain freeze. That'll hurt, won't it? The pickle is in bed, bathed. Fed, uh, antibiotic, uh, poor little mite. She actually, she went down really easily though, and she she loves bath time. And actually, it was kind of the most um, animated. animated and most happy and most smiles she she'd given all day. She just splashes everywhere. I'm gonna make a drink because um, it's festive time, that time of year. Can you um, see me just in the background with the yeah. cleaver? <laughs> Sarah's chopping cabbage. Chopping cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> While I make a cocktail, I'm gonna make an espresso martini, but rather than vodka. I'm going to use whiskey because I discovered these a couple of years ago and they're so good. I actually much prefer it with whiskey than with um, vodka because it just feels Is that what you made for um, the girls the It other was, day? yeah. So I've made a few of these lately. So the other day we had Sarah's two best, or a couple of Sarah's best friends over um, and one of them bought her boyfriend who we hadn't met yet and we kind of broke in the kitchen for the first time and I was chief cocktail maker and I was kind of spitting a lot of game about how good I am at making these and I was also underneath it a bit like, ooh, I might not be so good because I haven't made one for a long time um, but I made it and it was great. Super easy as well. I'm going to show you how. First thing to do is chill your glass, which is actually really underrated but very important. So I'm going to put that in the freezer and while I'm at the freezer, I'm going to get some ice for my shaker. Is Margot's ice cream still in there? Yeah, it's in the freezer, yeah. Oh, well, you want some? No. I wouldn't take food from a baby. <laughs> the ice dispenser in my fridge is honestly worth its weight in gold. Again, when we had some friends over, yeah, that's plenty. We had Sarah's friends over. Um, we had, uh, what, there were five, six of us? How many of us were there, Sarah? I can't remember now. We had, you know, a good three or four drinks each. Um, I did deplete the ice <laughs> that was in the dispenser, but it makes making drinks so much easier. Anyway, right, ice in the shaker. It's super duper easy. It's equal parts whiskey, but you're gonna want whiskey that's not like really crazy heavy and peaty, just like a very, uh, mild's the wrong word, but um, what's the word I'm looking for, Sarah? Whatever's in the cupboard. Whatever's in the cupboard, just not like a really heavy whiskey. So it's equal parts um, whiskey, coffee, like an espresso shot, and coffee liqueur. If you want to, you can add a bit of syrup if you like it a bit sweeter. I actually like it um, a bit dry. I don't like too much syrup in mine, so I'm gonna have no syrup. So this is a shot of espresso, which I already know is the right measurement. So it's going straight in here. I'm gonna add the whiskey next. This whiskey literally arrived today and I was thinking, oh, I wanna film one of these for the video. But all the other whiskeys I have are like sipping whiskeys and not really like cocktail whiskey. I don't know what this is. I've not tried it. This is called Coach Built and it is, I wanna say Jensen Buttons whiskey. Just arrived. I've given it a sniff and it smells really mellow and beautiful. I actually might just try a little sip before I put it in really quick. Oh yeah, that's, oh my God, that's really good. That's gonna be great for this. Okay, so 50 ml of that going in here. If you're using vodka instead, literally just swap the whiskey for vodka. Like I say, I prefer this. It feels more festive, it feels warmer. It feels, got, it's got that sort of. I feel like a festive drink, like it needs to hit the back of your throat, like a warmth on the back of your throat. Right, for sure. I think, and, and also the smoothness. I actually really like vodka and I'll often have vodka on the rocks. I really enjoy it, but it's definitely like crisp you know, um, mm -hmm. and this is smooth. So, some of that, and then 50 ml of coffee liqueur. I have Mr. Black's here, give it a little shake, because it does like to settle to the bottom a little bit. Um, is that Kahlua? Same thing. Okay. What about Baileys? Could you use Baileys? I was actually going to suggest that you could stick a bit of Baileys in. I don't know whether you put that in at the beginning and shake it, or you put that in at the end. Probably put it in with everything else and shake it. Again, probably really delicious if you like it a bit sweeter, not really my cup of tea. Right, this goes in here like this. You need to shake it quite vigorously for quite some time, like longer than you'll think. And you'll know when it's done because the whole thing will be freezing cold. I also need to get my 
glass that I'm pretty sure I can buy. Excuse the mess. Does anyone else's kitchen <coughs> island just get like so messy throughout the day? Okay, what do you reckon? Whew! I always get nervous when I do it on camera because what if it's not brilliant? They were really good the other day though, Sarah, weren't they? Yeah, they were Mouch. good. Break the seam on this, here we go. I don't know how well these are going to go with our <coughs> dinner. I'm not making two. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, did you want one? No. You never drink! Okay. And then we pour. Wait, I'm coming in. There we go. That looks real good. Now it takes a second to settle. So you'll get like, um, at the moment, the whole thing is like one consistency. But over the course of like a minute or so, you'll get like a really beautiful head on it. And then the, uh, the rest of it will be like kind of coffee colored. Now, if you want to, I wouldn't do this if it were just me, but seeing as I'm making it for the internet, I will put the three coffee beans on top. Why is it three? It always is, I don't know why. Also, people usually do them with like tongs because they're being hygienic and I'm just sticking on with my big like monkey fingers. I think you have very delicate hands, Jim. Thank you. Oh, oh, ah, oh, stuck to my finger. Give that a second. You can already see you it's starting to separate, going, yeah. right? Give it a second. If you can wait a second, the thing is, it's so good. <laughs> I really want it now. And I'm very intrigued about ha having it with this whiskey. The ones I made the other night were with Hay Club, which is like a really good whiskey for cocktails because it's Does light. every celebrity have their own alcohol? <laughs> I don't know, that's a point. Okay, I'm gonna go for it now because um, I could wait a bit longer to separate further, but <laughs> I really want it. Cheers. Cheers. That is bloody fantastic. Honestly, it's such, and it's so festive because it's got that warmth from the whiskey, but the drink itself is like kind of creamy because you've shaken it really well. Oh, make one of these. If you are, of course, of the right age and drink responsibly. That uh, espresso martini was really, really good. Kind of want a second one, but it does have a shot of espresso in it. And it's now uh, tw uh, 20 to eight, which, it's nearly my bedtime. <laughs> we go to bed. Sarah goes to bed a bit before me typically. Sarah's in bed usually by what, 9, 9.30? No, 9.30 and then I'll like... I just said 9.30. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not 9, like 9.30 and then right. I'll like scroll for a bit, read yeah. a book. I love Headspace. I like doing a little Headspace and then go to sleep. I, uh, you've always gone to bed earlier than me, but I used to be a real night owl. Then I became a parent, and now I go when to bed. When we first got together, I used to just like, I used to think there was something, I used to think like we had to go to bed at the same time and like spend all our time together, so I would push myself so hard to stay awake to go to, go to bed at the same time as you and now, and just, I don't care. I used to be up to like two in the morning. Six, like, I'd, I'd just be like, I'd use it as my time. So I would watch a film, or I'd play PlayStation, or um, <clears throat> like just do whatever. I like to do that, I don't get time to do during the day. Uh, you have a kid though, and you value those hours. Now I couldn't even dream of going to bed at that time. Your age and your espresso is showing. <laughs> You're rude. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, and I will see you, not very, very soon, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.